In the last episode, we shared the very exciting process of checking out the Miami Boat Show and making the huge decision to buy the Leopard 50 Sailing Cat. Now we have to wait a while for it to be built by Robertson and Kane in South Africa. So this week, we continue our sailing adventure and take you to our most favorite destination so far and check out Hill Inlet in the Whitsunday Islands and the amazing white sands and perfect turquoise blue water in perfectly beautiful protect flat water, a true paradise. Join us for this spectacular trip. Sailing away for a weekend of rest and relaxation, one of the essential seven steps to boost your mental well-being. Elizabeth just spent a month overseas in uh, North Lombok providing aid for the earthquake victims, both uh, physical and emotional aid. Um, and now that she's back, she needs the recuperation. They were suffering tremors every day or almost every day. So quite an exciting adventure she was on. However, now she needs to unwind and that's what it's all about, getting rest and relaxation. And the second one is uh, to smell the roses. So while we're over at the islands, we will be enjoying the sunsets, enjoying the sunrises, enjoying the beach, enjoying the island, it's enjoying the together. coral and just spending rest and relaxation. The, all these seven steps are on one of our videos on the Tough Minds website, which you can all enjoy. So toughminds.com.au. Good morning everyone. Well, it's day one uh, and we made it here last night at the back of shore and um, it's a little bit choppy but this is what the morning looks like. So I just thought I'd take you up and give you a little look at where we are. So we're in the middle of the Whit Sundays and this is shore back of shore. And it's beautiful. What you doing? Um, Captain John? <laughs> um, getting the dinghy in the water. So we'll head off to the beach soon. I'm What's at the beach? Bird colony, apparently. Hmm, that should be fun. Some sort of protected bird colony. So okay, so we've got to drive slowly, apparently. Clearly, you've just had a shave. I'm not leading up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we trust this guy with a scalpel. Bird colony is, we are told. Look how beautiful 
this is. Check this out, folks. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> on holidays. Look at this man here. Doing bicep curls with a couple of rocks. How many kilos you got there? Four or five, maybe? Nice. <laughs> Good luck. the hulls rather than the motor on which is absolutely gorgeous and we've seen turtles and all sorts of sea creatures this morning um, dolphins turtles this is their playground right here
famous Whitehaven beaches behind me in the background. You can see how white the sand is. And when you get up close, it's even whiter and it's just extraordinary. So that's Whitehaven Beach, that long island, that long beach right there. And we're heading right down the end and around the back. So stay tuned because it's awesome. our favorite spot in the whole world which is Hill Inlet and we're in the Whitsunday Island group and you can see behind us it's just absolutely spectacular water um, the color of the water is that beautiful turquoise and white white silica sand so check this out it's just absolutely beautiful I'll do a little spin until there's enough water for us to sneak into our favorite spot, Hill Inlet. Away from so, all of these people. Yeah, you have to have a catamaran or a very shallow uh, draft boat, like a, a tinny or a little, little motorboat to get in there, which is great for us because we get to be in there um, pretty much on our own, which is wonderful. So uh, when we get a bit closer and we're ready to sneak into the inlet, we'll keep you posted. Bye for now. Bye. Again, and we're here right at the mouth of our um, hill inlet, our favorite place in the world to come um, sailing. But we thought we'd just show you because it's a spectacular day. So we're gonna do a little spin so you can see how absolutely glorious <laughs> the scenery is. So hopefully it'll come up. The water's that spectacular turquoise blue color. Just, <coughs> oh dear me, just gorgeous. Too much fresh air. I think it was hair, your hair. Was... <laughs> but anyway, we're here and we're going to wait outside until we get a little bit more tired before we sneak into the inlet. Just thought we'd share this with you guys. Anyway, check you later. Bye. Bye. to the beautiful Whitsunday Islands and Hill Inlet and here we are taking a few days break and it's absolutely magnificent so we wanted to share it with you and the other thing we want to share with you is the incredible features that it has and one of the incredible features is the white sand have a look at this now this is so white and soft that you can actually make snowballs out of it isn't that incredible we've had snowball fights before but the the secret here is that it's made up of a lot of silica so that gives it that really white powdery texture it's really soft when you stand on it you sink inches into it every time you step in it it's just incredible yeah. and what happens and is it squeaks it does squeak <laughs> it's the squeakiest sand i've ever come across and what happens is when you go into the water and you start walking these incredible jacuzzi bubbles just keep coming up as you natural put... jacuzzi it's i know it's it's wonderful amazing and the reason being is because the silica is so light the air gets trapped underneath the sand and then as you put pressure on the sand the air escapes in the way of bubbles it's just incredible so isn't you can it? lie in the sand and just have this continuous jacuzzi out of the out of the soft sand it's spectacular we're going to show you that we're going to Absolutely take you in fantastic. and share that with you yeah so let's do a little spin another spin I've yep. done a spin so you can see exactly where we are how incredible it is so. and the other thing i want to show you too is <laughs> 
<laughs> you can throw it like a snowball. <laughs> I think I'll have to get it back for that. Don't you think? What do you think, guys? <laughs> you will never know when it's coming. It was worth it. <laughs> sitting under there. Squeaky sand. They're still defrosting, they're actually quite frozen still, some of them. Mm -hmm. and what we do is we get smoked salmon, roll it up into little portions. So the next step we, we do is, um, it should be sour cream, but we use Greek yogurt because it's much healthier for you. So you then do a little dog of Greek yogurt on each oyster. As 
step, if we can get it open, is caviar. That's probably why it's called Millionaire's Oyster. Oyster's Millionaire. Okay, with this you just take a little dog and kind of One of these containers of Millionaire Oysters usually does about two dozen oysters. And the nice thing about this is that it's kind of a combination of, of, of visual and, and gustatory, like it's just that- And textures. Textures. And we do have a little personal story about Oysters Millionaire, Elizabeth and myself. So, here we have our dozen Oysters Millionaire. Wow, check that out. And we do have a little personal story about Oysters Millionaire. The very first meal I ever made for Elizabeth in our courting stages, I'd done Oysters Millionaire, didn't know if she liked oysters, didn't know if she was allergic to oysters. I got her to close her mouth, close her eyes and open her mouth and I scooped a whole <laughs> oyster into her mouth and she had no idea what was coming. Can you imagine that? A whole oyster and I just As sat in without there. the shell. I scooped it out and <laughs> fed it to Elizabeth and she was tr trying to, first of all she was kind of wondering what I was going to put in her mouth with her mouth open and her eyes closed. I think she was a little, little, little bit, little I bit nervous. <laughs> I knew you were a gentleman. I knew you were a gentleman. Anyway, so put that in her mouth and then she kind of and, and it's just this explosion of flavor, isn't it? I mean, it's just... It's amazing. It's truly amazing. You have, you have the oyster, which is, you know, speaks for itself, oysters, and that texture and everything with an oyster. And then you have the smoked salmon. You have the smoked salmon, which is a really smoky, nice, and the fishy flavor. And, and, the, then, and then the, the caviar. Creamy. And the caviar, little you sort of the caviar eggs kind of bursts with, with flavor as you're eating it. It's just amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. And Elizabeth is still with me so clearly it didn't do any harm to the relationship. So And the next cooking lesson will tell you the question for the main course. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. Oysters Millionaire. Oh, check this out folks. There it is. Well, John's prepared dinner out the front, uh, with hopefully with a glass of wine. So let's go and see what he's done. Honey, what have you got for us? Glass of wine. Ooh, I was right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. And you've got to have a look at this. This is why I fell in love with him. Isn't he the most romantic thing in the world? <laughs> I'm coming to join you right now. Thank you. Join us next episode where paradise turns to nightmare overnight. Doctor's orders are to subscribe to our channel for free and ding the dong so you don't miss a thing. Love and blessings to you all.